Okay, so coordinates for point A, three, five. Who got it correct? Raise your hand, three, five. Now, out of those who raise your hand, huh? you think you got it correct, right? Do you draw the brackets? Yeah. If you draw the brackets, then it's correct. No brackets, wrong. Meaning, if you for answer for part A, uh, if you wrote 3, 5, uh, wrong. Because by writing 3, 5, you're just telling me two numbers. First number is 3, second number is 5. But the moment you put the brackets, now we know that you are talking about coordinates. Where the x coordinate is 3, y coordinate is 5. Okay, so you can carry on with the rest. x coordinate 3, y coordinate 5. Write down the point C, the coordinates of point C. We've got 5, comma, and 2.4. The point can lie anywhere on the X and Y axis on the Cartesian coordinate system, on a plane. It does not have to be integers. It can be one-third, two-third, 3.7, 0 0.89, negative numbers also. So is point A equal to point C? Obviously not. They, they don't lie on the same point. They're different. So can you write B as 6, 1? Yeah, we can. Can we write B bracket 6, 1? Yeah, we can. So these two, they are the same. But can you write B equals to 6, 1 without brackets? No, we cannot. Okay. So the important thing is that you must have brackets. You must have the comma. Whether you put in the equal sign in the middle, doesn't matter. Let's move on to the next point, next page. Okay, uh, this is interesting. Let's look at the Y coordinates of all the points on the X axis. I am going to highlight the X axis. So pay careful attention, pay full attention over here. This is, this might be confusing to some students. Okay, watch. I highlighted the X axis. You can clearly see the points that lie on the X axis, right? lying on the x-axis are the points that I've highlighted also. What is the y-coordinate of all these points? Y-coordinate, does it refer to the first number or the second number? Second number, y comes later, right? x comes first, then y comes next. The second number is the y-coordinate. Now I'm going to circle all the y-coordinates. Zero, 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 zero. 0, 0. So what do you notice about the y coordinates of all the points, meaning those that are highlighted on the x-axis? What are all the y coordinates? They are 0. The y coordinates are 0. Is that a surprise to you? Is that a surprise to you? No, right? It's logical, isn't it? We see that yeah, all the y coordinates are zero, but the x coordinate is the one that is changing. How does the x coordinate change? Now I'm going to circle the x coordinates. Negative three. First one, corresponding to this negative three. Make sense? It shows us the position from left to right. The y coordinate shows us the position from the x coordinate, shows us the position from left to right. If it is a very negative number, in this case, negative three, it's all the way to the left. If it is a very positive number, for example, four, four comma zero, then it is very far to the right. Of course, this can go on all the way until millions and billions, all the way, it doesn't end. Likewise, on the other side, it doesn't end. Downwards doesn't end. Upwards doesn't end as well. It goes on forever and ever. So now, can you fill in the blank for part B? What is the x coordinate for all the points on the y axis. What is the answer over here? Where are the x coordinates? The points on the y axis. I'm now going to highlight the y axis. And I have also highlighted the points. So what are the x coordinates? Where's Koshyong? Oh, yeah. 
Ruben, what is your answer for x coordinates of all the points on the y-axis? Zero. Excellent. Look at all the zeros over here. Okay. Hey, actually, yeah, including your origin, they didn't draw it, but it's zero, zero, isn't it? No contradiction. It is just zero. Okay. So now um, we, we, we need you to state the coordinates of P and Q. Okay, so what you do is for part, for part A, P open bracket. Okay. So what are the X coordinates, Y coordinates for P as well as Q? What's your answer for P? Negative one? One, right? Okay. So P, we have three, one. Um, what I like to think about, right, is I go by block number and levels. So in a way, uh, your X coordinates, right? Your X values, they're like your HDB block. You know, blocks that are vertical. So P is at block three. I call this block three. And this guy, P is staying at level one. So there is something that I might say in class also. Block three, level one. We always talk about the block first. We ask, hey, where do you stay? Huh? And the guy tells you, I stay at level five. Very incomplete information, right? Must tell you the block first. Of course, street, la, all those very important. But we need to know the block first. Then we talk about the level as well. Okay? So block three, level one. X comes first, then Y comes next. Just like your block comes first, then your level comes next. Level will be horizontal, like what I just drew. Okay, so what about point Q? What block does point Q stay in? What block does point Q stay in? Glenn, what block does point Q stay in? Negative two, excellent. And what level does he stay in? Yeah, he stays at basement one. So sad, right? He stays at basement one. Okay, so now state the quadrants um, in which P and Q lie. This will be our first quadrant. This will be our third quadrant. Okay, then go and plot the points on the diagram. Okay, spend some time, go and plot them now. Simple task. Try and be accurate. Um, oops. Okay, I think you can try the next one. So, um, write down the coordinates of the points A to J. Okay, so my solutions on the screen, I trust that you try yourself first. Then you look at and check answer. No point just copying down all the answers. No point. Okay, try yourself. I'll leave you on the screen for a while. <laughs> 